welcome back to Tara Makes Up. Today I have my July favourites. That's right, July favourites. Um, there's quite a mix as per usual and I think we should just kick off with beauty because I'm sure that's what a lot of you guys are here for. And the first two that I've got are from Milk. I was very kindly sent some products to try and for me the standout products have, products have to be the um, lip and cheek sticks. First off, I love how fat they are. I feel like you get a lot of product in these. Um, they twist up which is great and I've got the shade Perk which is this really beautiful like coral shade, which is quite translucent as well, which I love, so it's very dewy. And then I also have Rally, which is this lovely kind of raspberry pink, which again is great with the tan at the minute. Both lovely colors on the cheeks and lips. And um, I've been wearing those absolutely loads through the month of July and use them a lot in my pro kit as well. And I like that they have a proper cream blush feeling. You guys know me, I'm mad about cream blush, but I like it to be a proper cream. I like it to stay dewy on the skin and have that kind of slight wet look, and these definitely tick that box. The second thing is by Glossier, and it's the lipstick I'm wearing now. It's their Generation G um, lipsticks. This is in the shade Zip, the red. Um, I think it's funny really because my general way I wear lipstick is to pop it on and then kind of like smush it in with my finger and blot it in a bit and I feel like for me these do just that and I feel like it's really hit and miss with the kind of reviews on these, some people love that about them, some people feel like they don't give enough colour, um, like I said this one on me I feel shows up quite strongly so I really like it, I like that they have like a matte balm finish to them, I find them very comfortable and very easy to reapply and I actually really like that the lipstick the lipstick size is very small. I find it's good for kind of just like dotting in the middle and reapplying very easy without needing a mirror. So absolutely loving that and that is the shade Zip. Now I want to give a shout out to Gillian Dempsey again because I thought I had included this in my last favourites and I think I just included it in my updated makeup routine video. I'll link somewhere up here if you haven't seen that with the kind of new additions to my makeup bag. And I forgot to include them in last month's favourite, so I'm definitely going to make sure I do it this month. Um, I've got the shade Dew here, which is probably, this and bronze are the two I use the most. Dew is exclusive to Violet Grey, I, I think, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, this is like a clear kind of balm, it's not really a gloss, it's more like a sheer balm. Um, it gives that lovely wet look to the eye, very kind of effortless chic. I love this on skin, on top of cheekbones, on my bridge of my nose. So, so beautiful, they have a little mirror in them. Um, they're called the sheer lid, the lid tints, lid tint, that's right. Um, and like I say, bronze is one I use loads on my eyes when I kind of want a quick smoky eye, and this I use loads on skin. So I wanted to make sure I gave them a proper shout out as they've been definitely a favorite for the past two months at least. So next up is one from Dior. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer, and this is in 002. Now, I'm normally kind of like a golden highlighter girl, that's what I tend to lean more towards, but this one I've absolutely loved in my pro kit, especially on very, very pale girls. Um, I've got a little bit of it on today, actually, and I like that it's somewhere between a pink and a pearl, but it's not so pink that it looks pink like you're wearing blusher. So I really, really love this. I've been using this loads in my pro kit in editorials. I think it's a very, very finely milled highlighter, which I really like about it. So you get a sheen, there's no glittery finish, very, very luxe looking on the skin and very, very beautiful. So I wanted to give a shout out to that because I've been using that a lot. Um, what's next? I've got some new skincare bits that have really impressed me this month. One of which was, um, Kind of like, I brought just on a whim when I was in Whole Foods. This is the John Masters Organics Jojoba and Ginseng Exfoliating Face Cleanser. Um, I do spin classes quite regularly and I feel like for me, when I've done that, I just really need like a deep clean for my skin to get all like the sweat out the pores and the gross things that we know happen after a spin class. So um, yeah, I brought this from Whole Foods. I think it was like $30. I think it was 87% organic. Um, lots of natural ingredients in there, very, very beautiful on the skin, and my skin has really taken to this. So before I was using this, I was using the Sunday Riley, I think it's called the Tranquil Blue Balm, or the Blue Moon Cleanser, Cleanser Balm, which I absolutely love and adore that, but it's quite pricey. So I think I might be switching to this because I feel like the two have worked equally well on my skin. So I love both, but this is much more affordable, so I will be repurchasing that. I feel like I'm almost going in order now of like what I do. So 
The other new product that I've been trying out, um, like I said to you guys, I've been trying to include an experiment with a couple of kind of like organics based brands in my pro kit and on myself, just as an inclusion in my kit. Um, you, if you haven't seen the video I did with kind of some favorites of like organic and natural makeup, I'll link to a video up here I did with my lovely friend Courtney. Loads of great recommendations in there and she's been enabling me. So I've bought a couple of things since that video. Um, this, I was Googling like three ingredient cleansers as you do. And this one really interested me. So this one I saw that I picked this up online. This is from a company called SW Basics. And this one has three ingredients. So it is organic rose water, organic vegetable glycerin, organic tea tree oil. And you can definitely smell the tea tree oil. It's like a clear liquid. So it looks like water. So it has that really nice kind of like spa smell to it because you can smell the tea tree oil and you do still have to wash this off afterwards but I've been using this as like in place of my cellar water um, and I think considering it's three ingredients, this is so good. It's really one of those cleansers that I've even used it around my eyes and although I feel like tea tree might affect some people's eyes and sting a little bit, I've been okay with it. Um, it doesn't remove waterproof makeup remover, but I feel like I always use something like the, Cal the Clarins Instant um, waterproof makeup remover or like the Lancome Biophase one, those kind of, the Cecile, I think it's the Cecile's. I hope my memory is so bad today, guys. I apologize for that, but everything will be linked down below as always. Um, but yeah, this is three ingredients and I just think this is really nice. It was super affordable as well. I think I paid like I want to say either $6.99 or $8.99 in dollars or so. It was definitely less than $10. Um, you get four ounces, 118 mil, um, cruelty free, not tested on animals. This is 100% um, organic. And yeah, just really, really impressed with this. Non foaming, it's just like a normal liquid cleanser. And then I just rinse it off with a bit of like damp cotton wool afterwards. Ooh. And it's my skin's really agreed with it. It really likes it. So I will keep you guys posted on this. But so far, I've used that all month. And I've actually only used, I would say, I mean, I've still got way more than half left. So it's actually lasted me quite a long time, which is great. So the next product is one that I've been, I kind of had my eye on this for a while. It's the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. Um, I'm a big lover of face mists. I love them in my kit. I think they're really nice when, again, I live in LA now, so it's very hot. So I even keep them in the fridge sometimes. Um, I have one on my desk. I use it within my skincare regime. I find it helps just lock in the moisture, moisture really well. And I'd seen this and wanted to pick up some things from her before. Um, I'm trying out some other stuff at the minute, but this was actually in the uh, Vogue Birch Box subscription box. Um, Vogue were doing a 125th birthday special, so they did like a rose themed box for Birch Box, which is amazing by the way. Pick that up as well. Loads of beautiful things on there. And this was in the box, so I decided just to buy the box so I could get this to try it. I think it's about $20 normally, something like that. And it's just so beautiful. Um, Herb before, if you haven't heard of them, they're such an amazing brand. It started by um, a husband and wife duo, I think from Seattle, I wanna say Seattle, where they like make everything like from their garden. So it's super, super organic, super natural, and just beautiful, beautiful ingredients. Like this, everything works that I've tried so far has been working really well for me. And I absolutely love this. So really, really like it. It's just a face spritz. And I think for me, anything rose, it's just my bag. I love anything with rose. Really, that is like, if I see the word rose on it, I buy it. Which will explain the next product. <laughs> Which was funny enough, actually, also in the Birch Box for Vogue subscription. But this is one I brought before I got the Birch Box box. God, so many words of repetition. Um, this is the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. More rose. So you can see this one is halfway empty. So I have a new one that came in my Birch Box as well, which I've now put in my Pro Kit. Because this... Whilst I love it on my hair as well, I have been using it because I find when I put my hair up like this in a top knot, the ends get really dry and frazzled and I'm sure it's breaking it, but it's just too damn hot to wear my hair down. So this has definitely helped with that. But when I shave my legs and put this on, oh my goodness, it makes my legs so silky smooth. It's slightly insane. Um, I love the way this looks on like decollete, on shoulders, on neck. It's just on arms. It's very, very moisturizing and I think it looks stunning on the skin. Um, and I just think it's a very, very beautiful product that that's a great one to travel with as well. The fact that you can kind of do your hair and your body. So um, yeah, I, like I said, I'm halfway through that and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to pick up the full size soon. So the next items I have are plural in that they are retractable makeup brushes. Now, because I've been getting my own makeup routine down to like sort of a good five to 10 minutes and a little makeup bag that's just ready to go, from, ready to go for my everyday makeup, 
I kind of had really got back into retractable makeup brushes in that I can leave them in my makeup bag and the makeup doesn't go all over the makeup bag. Um, these are from Chanel and they are so beautiful and they're amazing. So they don't just look great, they're actually really good. Um, I have four, so I bought two that were like doubled up. I have this one, which is the Kabuki brush, and they all have the little Chanel logo on top. Um, I've just cleaned mine because it was really gross with loads of foundation stuck in it, but it's the softest, most lovely fluffy brush. And then I have the Definer Smudger brush, so it's like a double-ended brush. And what's cool is you even have a little barrel, so before you close the lid, you can actually pull it up over the hair, so you, the hairs don't get squished in the brush, and then you pull them down like this when you want to use it super amazing like i just love them so you've got the domed ends the little kind of flat rounded end so that one is the definer smudger brush which i usually use for any detail work which i'm probably not going to do in a five to ten minute makeup look but nice to have it nonetheless and then i bought two of the blender shader brush so this one is like a flat kind of one that's great for applying color to the lid and then this one is a nice fluffy buffing one. And I actually find one's great for concealer and one's great for eyeshadow. So really lovely soft brushes. If you like kind of the MAC 217, this is a very similar shape, just slightly longer I would say. Um, but beautiful, beautiful quality brushes that stop my makeup bag from getting covered in makeup from the ends of brushes. And they look beautiful, like they're just such a pleasure to use. I feel like every little detail's gone into the, not just the brush hairs, but how they feel when you hold them, how they apply, and how they look in your makeup bag. So really, really love those. Good job, Chanel. Um, absolutely love those. And if they make more, I will get those too. So the other thing I have, like I said, I've been really into drawing at the minute, and that's been something that I've been um, just kind of enjoying doing in the evening as well, trying to have no laptop time, no phone time, is just sitting down and doing drawing, in particular line drawings and basic shading. And um, another YouTuber I watched called, uh, I think she's called G Marie, I'll link her down below, she's amazing. Love her style, love all her stationery and drawing stuff, it's amazing. Um, she had these, and I picked these up off Amazon, these are the Tombow dual brush pens. So I brought the, um, I don't know if there's like a name for the colour palette, but it's basically like sort of blush pinks and like soft neutrals. And then I brought the greys, and they're like felt tip pens, you can use like watercolours. So you literally have like a blending pen, and then you can just sort of like blur off the colour, the way you would with a watercolour. And I love these so much, it's really made me enjoy finding a drawing style that works for me because I'm never gonna be like a fine art painter, that's just not my style, but I do love line drawing. So I've been loving those and I'm still kind of experimenting with them, but I wanted to mention those because they have been out the packet, I just don't have a pencil case, so I keep kind of opening and closing the packet for anyone who's wondering, but really, really love those. They are really good fun. So as you guys know, there is one thing that I am an avid collector of. Um, I collect Louis Vuitton uh, small leather goods, in particular kind of stationary pieces, so agendas. It's just something that is really special to me. I love agendas, I love planning, I am a planner nerd. And um, I decided to add the Louis Vuitton desk agenda to my collection. So it looks like this, it's more like a notebook cover. Um, you still get card slots inside and it has various different kind of pockets inside. And I'm actually using the Levenger system, the disc bound, and I'm loving it guys. I feel like since I've been doing more drawing, it's nice not having the rings in the way. It, I can still move paper in and out of where I need to move it. So it's really easy to use. Um, I just find it slightly lighter than a normal kind of Filofax style ring binder and my GM agenda that I do have I've now transferred to being kind of like an at home headquarters for bits of paper, things that I wouldn't want to get lost, so very important documents like password tracking, um, financial information, I have kind of budget stuff in there, I have medical notes in there, it's just such a great place to have like one safekeeping that's like a nice little home hub now that stays at home and this has become the piece now that I take with me every single day, it's a really nice size, to me it feels like just carrying a notebook so I, I do generally carry a YSL tote bag, I will put a link to that somewhere up here if you want to see what that bag holds and how I use it, this fits in perfectly and I just love it, I love how hard wearing the canvas is, I feel like I don't need to baby this as much as my GM agenda because you're not having to open and close rings all the time, worry about gaps in the rings etc. Um, I absolutely love it and you know 
I've got my laminator, so of course I've made like my vision board already. Who wouldn't make their vision board? <laughs> um, I do have an addiction, I think, to making mood boards and vision boards. That's literally something that I love doing as much as I love drawing. Um, so I've done that on the front. You know, I've just been kind of playing around with the Levenger system. The quality of the paper's really good. It doesn't bleed through. I find these de uh, these tabs are amazing. So let's go to like an empty uh, month. So you have like your month on two pages, which is great. And then I have the daily page system where you actually get two, you get one day on two pages. Now that might sound like a lot of room, but I find when I'm really busy with work and kind of with scheduling YouTube and everything with a blog, it's so nice to have like, I can proper break down my day. So if I am working from home or I have various meetings in the day, I can write, you know, full addresses of places I'm going to, the contact number of where the shoot is, etc. Um, and I can also have on the other page, you know, a proper to-do list. I can separate that into business, personal, I can have notes so I can write you know social things I want to do that day in terms of social media things that are important that might be referencing a video that's come out etc um, so yeah I found for me I really can highly recommend both the Levenger disc bound system I have the junior size in my Louis Vuitton DA and um, the desk agenda in general it's really really working for me and I don't know if I will now go back to like a ring binder system really really loving this i love that you could put just normal notebooks in here if you wanted to you could have like two separate notebooks with different purposes it's a very very versatile piece and it is slightly less expensive than the gm ring bound um so yeah i just want to mention that because very very much in love with this and i'm very very happy to have it to my collection so um yeah i just wanted to share that that is something i do love planning planning is my thing so yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, for this month. I'm definitely testing quite a lot of stuff at the minute, so I'm sure there'll be more to report back on in August. Um, one thing I did want to mention is please, please, please go and check out this week's episode of Full Coverage Podcast. I think it's the funniest one we've done yet. It was our 10th, a 10th anniversary, our 10th episode. So we had some bubbles, we had some Prosecco whilst recording, which I'm not sure how good an idea that was. You guys can be the judge. And we also got to interview um, amazing makeup artist, Jamie Greenberg, who works with the likes of Tracy Ellis Ross. She works with Kristen Stewart. So go check that out. Some great top tips and some very, very comedy moments. She is an absolute babe. So go check that out. I'll pop the link for the full coverage podcast down below. And please subscribe to us. I'd love it if you subscribe. And um, I'll see you soon for videos. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.